It's happening. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We are going to go ahead and swatch all of the Kaleidos lip clays. So if you guys have been wanting to see all of the shades on this medium to tan skin tone, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I love playing with new makeup swatching new makeup, giving you guys my unsolicited opinions. Well, technically it would be solicited because you are watching this video. I feel like that's you asking me what I think. So if you like hearing my opinions on new makeup, if you like the occasional anti-haul, the occasional shop my stash, then this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing because I upload three to four videos a week. And without further blabbering, let's get into the lip swatches. Okay, you guys, I am so pumped because Kaleidos kindly sent me over a fresh new batch of all of their lip clays, and I have been promising this video ever since there were only, I think, two sets. No, I think all... Mm, I think when there were two sets. Maybe I did lip swatches then. I can't remember. Listen, listen, I've been on YouTube for so long. I'm a dinosaur here on YouTube. Anyways... I've got them all, I'm ready. I'm ready to swatch them all for you guys, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the kind of nudie shades first because that'll be easier, I think, I hope. Anyway, so I'm gonna start off with NU01. This is Adobe is the shade, and let's swatch this baby. Now this is my kind of nude. It has a little bit of a brown undertone to it, so it doesn't look like concealer lips on me, but it's a gorgeous nude shade. Also, it's not a pinky nude, which I personally love because I love a good brown tone nude shade because it just complements my skin tone. So this one is definitely a favorite from the lip clays. And the formula of these is very much a soft matte lipstick. So if you're into that and you like a good long lasting liquid lipstick, then this is the liquid lipstick that I would recommend for you guys if you've been eyeing the Kaleidos lip products. Okay, the next shade is NU02, this is Dune. This is such a pretty mauve pink nude shade and this one is very close to my actual lip color and it's very much a your lips but better shade for my tan skin. Okay, so next we have NU03 and this is the shade Terra. Terra is like a trigger word for me because I love terracotta nude shades, so let's swatch this one. This shade looks very close to the shade I had on in the thumbnail. I was actually wearing a Plaz from Ace Beauté. I do have a lip swatch video of those lipsticks as well, so if you haven't seen it, highly recommend checking that out because that lip formula is amazing as well. But this shade is so me. If you guys know me and you know my channel, you know how much I love a good terracotta nude shade. Okay, so the last lip shade in this packaging is the shade NU04 and this is the shade Sienna. I also have to say I love the applicators in this lipstick. It makes it so easy to apply and smoothen out the lip product. Also, these lip products are just so, so comfy. They're so lightweight. It feels really moussey when you apply them. So this shade, Sienna, has a little bit of a browny, orangey tint to it. It's not as orange as the shade Terra, but oh my gosh, these four nude shades are so amazing. I love, love, love them so, so much. Okay, so the next four shades we're gonna swatch are in these lilac kind of packaging. So let's start off with the shade NU05. This is Bare. Oh my gosh, this is a really pretty pinky nude shade. So if you're into shades like that, you will really enjoy this color. Next we have NU06. This is Pink Moon and it also looks like a really pretty mauve pink nude shade. Now, I'm no expert when it comes to describing colors, but this one definitely has almost like a corally hue to it. It's got a very vibrant yet neutrally nudey kind of vibe. So if you're not overly adventurous with lip colors, but you want something kind of in the salmon-y, neutrally, 
quarrely family, this might be the one for you. Okay, next we have BE01, and this is the shade Wild Apple. Mm. Okay, this one is a very pretty, bold red shade. I don't feel like this is that blue-red shade. It's definitely more of a true red tone, and I'm here for it. Okay, so the last shade in this purple packaging is the shade BE01. This is Mercury Wave, and Ooh, it's a beautiful like gray purple shade. This is a really beautiful cool tone purple gray shade. I like it, it's something different for me and it gets me out of my comfort zone. I will say I won't wear a shade like this all the time, but I'm glad that Kaleidos made it so I have the option if I do want to wear it. Next, I'm going to swatch the lippies in this cool tone like gray purple packaging. Similar to the lip shade I just swatched, but I want to kind of do the more neutral shades first because there are some more bolder colors coming up. So figured I'll try and save the pigmentation on my lips. But these are the kind of newest collection of lip clays that they came out with, with their smoky nostalgia collection. So I'm very excited. Let's get into swatching. Okay, so we're going to start off with NU07. This does not have a shade name on the sticker. So I don't know what the name is, but I'm really excited to swatch it. Okay, so this is a shade that I would call a concealer lip for my skin tone, but on a lighter skin tone, I bet this would be a really pretty nude shade. I would think that people would want to pair this with a lip liner that had a medium to deep complexion, but it's so gorgeous, it's so comfy, and I can't think off the top of my head if I've worn this shade a ton, but it's really fun and versatile. Okay, the next shade is NU08, and this is the shade Coal Smoke. Now, if I was looking for a cool tone neutral shade, this would be the kind of color I would wear because it has a brown undertone to it, and it actually shows up on my skin tone. It doesn't look like a concealer lip. So this shade, definitely a thumbs up from me. Okay, the next shade is DE08, and this is the shade Smear Rouge. Ooh, it's a cool tone red. Ooh, this is so beautiful. It's such a great shade for a night out if you're wearing like a black dress and you want to throw on a statement lip. This could be it. I have to say again, this little paddle applicator in these lippies makes it so easy to apply. I really, really love that. And I feel like I can't say that enough, but anyway, this is a gorgeous shade. Okay, so we're getting to the point where I have to use a little concealer to fix up my makeup in between swatching lip products. But anyway, the last shade in this purple collection is DE09, and it's called Cognac. And I already know what this color is gonna be. So let's get to swatching. This is such a cool color. It's a little bit brown, it's a little bit red. It's the perfect shade. It's definitely got that like Cognac vibe to it, which is why I think the name is perfect. And this is definitely a shade where I would say it's one of my favorites. I would give this like two, three, four thumbs up if I had four thumbs, but mm, I really like this color. Okay, so now we're getting to the bolder shade. So I'm gonna swatch the four shades with the blue packaging. And yeah, these are some of the older colors. So I've had these ones for a while and I know they're really fun well colors. If you're interested in seeing these, then just keep watching. So we're gonna start off with DE01, which is Cactus Flower, and this is a bright pink shade. Okay, I have to say I don't wear shades like this very often, but I feel like they're so flattering on tan skin tones. So I think I need to try harder to wear brighter shades like this every once in a while, especially in the summertime. Okay, next is DE02. This is the shade Agave, and it's a blue shade. Okay, what do you guys think? I know it's a little bit different, but it's still kind of cool. And hey, there's a time and a place for a blue lipstick. Okay, DE03 is next, and this is the shade Mahogany. I feel like from the name, you can guess what kind of color it is. It's a dark, it's a deep brown shade. This is another one that would get two thumbs up from me because I love a good deep brown shade instead of like a red shade if you're looking for something that's a little bit more sexy for the nighttime or even instead of like a black shade if you want to do something edgy I feel like a dark brown definitely giving me those 90s vibes and 
I'm here for it. Okay, last but certainly not least is DE04, and this is the shade Dahlia. So, let's swatch it. Okay, so another great red shade. I know this is gonna sound old fashioned, but red shades just remind me of like really sexy dinner parties. And so this one looks like the perfect shade to wear to a really sexy dinner party. Also, if you guys are true crime fanatics like I am, do you know who Dahlia DiPolito is? If you do, I hopefully said her name right. If you do, you gotta leave me a comment in the comment section because I wanna know if my subscribers love true crime as much as I do. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been dreading filming lip swatches, but it's actually been going really great. And honestly, my lips don't feel that bad, so I'm very, very thankful for that. Kinda wishing I'd done this sooner, but you know what? It all worked out because now that I waited, I have this beautiful vault and I have all the lipsticks with me, so it's making it super, super easy for me to film this video. Anyways, I love this color, so let's go ahead and get to swatches. Okay, so we're swatching BE03. This is the shade Fiamma. Hopefully I didn't butcher that, but ooh, it's another sexy red. Okay, you guys, this is a blue tone red. I love this kind of shade because it makes your teeth look really, really white. I love wearing a shade like this on the 4th of July. I know 4th of July has already come and gone, but hey, for next year. Okay, next shade is DE05, and this is the shade Rubino. I would call this a vampy red shade. I know people are really into colors like this. This is definitely another like sexy dinner party red for me, and oh, I really, really like it. Okay, the next shade is DE06, and this is the shade Queen of the Night. Oh my gosh, that is a sexy name. By the way, I was gonna say I was reminiscing while I was watching these, thinking about how much I love this formula, and I remember when they first launched these, you had to get them in a set, and now you can buy these individually, which is why I'm so happy that I'm doing a lip swatch video, because if you're like me, you're probably making a list or you've got your notes app open on your phone and you're writing down all the shades that you think would look good on you. So you can place that Kaleidos order. So let's see if you're gonna be adding this shade to your list. Oh, she's bold. Okay, so here is the shade. And I also wanted to say, I know these lipsticks build up on each other really well. I'm not making these super opaque because I have to apply a bunch of them. So I didn't want them to stain too, too much, but I've used these lip products countless times. And I know that whatever shade I'm dealing with, I can build it up and it won't become crusty. It'll just dry down and then you can do another layer if you want it to be even more opaque. Okay, you guys, I'm about to swatch my 20th shade. This is the last one and it's DE07, Scorpion Fruit. Ooh, we're ending on a very dramatic note here. Okay, you guys, the last shade is a beautiful black. This is a really, really nice black lipstick. And I will say that if you are a bit of a mixologist, you can definitely combine shades here and transform this color. Wearing black lipstick sounds more terrifying than it actually is, because if you have a glam makeup look like I do, throwing a black lip on is really quite easy. And I mean, black goes with everything, right? So I am kind of living for this. That is it for this lip swatch video. I need to take a well-deserved water break because I think my lips just said, you know what, girl, we're going on vacation. We are done with your lip swatches. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Share this with a friend. If you want to rope them in on placing a Kaleidos order, let me know what was your favorite shade down in the comments. Before I go, I just wanna say I don't know the retail price of the Volt and stuff like that, but I'll put it on the screen and I'll link it down below if, in case you guys are interested in shopping. And I really love this lipstick formula. It's one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. So I've been using them for quite some time now and I'm so glad I was finally able to swatch them all for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in another one very, very soon. Bye!